In this session, we will discuss few additional problem for design of Mille and Mure machine. Let's start the session. So we will discuss design of Mure and Mille machine for these five problems. Now in the first problem, we need to design a Mure machines over A and B, which will count number of occurrence of A A B in the input string. So if we have the sub string A A B, we will generate 1 as the output otherwise we will generate 0 as the output in case of Mure machine output is depending upon state only whereas in case of Mille machine output is depending upon state as well as on input so we will generate output as 1 if we had taken this thing a b Otherwise, we will generate 0 as the output. So, we will generate output 0 with q0, q1, q2, but generate output as 1 with q3. If we will read any number of b before the first a, we will remain in q0. If we will read b on q1, we break the pattern and again we will start searching for a, a b. So, on reading of b we will move back to q0 if we will read a on q2 like a a a so we are expecting to read b so if there is a on q2 we will remain in q2 if after processing a b if we will read a we will move to q1 and we will start searching for next a b string if we will read b after a b then we need to search from the starting and we will start searching the pattern a b from the initial state so on reading of b we will move to the initial state so for the given input like say a a b b a a b initially we are in q0 state we will read a we will move to q1 and here we will generate 0 output here we will generate 0 output then we will read b then we will read a and we will move to q2 we will generate 0 output then we will read b we will move to q3 we will generate 1 output then we will read b we will move to q0 then we will read a we will move to q1 and we are generating 0 output then we will read a again we will move to q2 output is 0 then we are reading b and we are generating output as 1 so our output is 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so these two one indicates that a a b string occur twice in the given input string now we want to design a mure machine which will determine residue mode 3 whenever binary string is converted into decimal numbers uh, here sigma is 0 comma 1 and if we will take this string 0 its decimal equivalent is also 0 and if we will divide it by 3 remainder is 0 if we will take 1 its decimal equivalent is 1 and if we will divide it by 3 we will get remainder as 1 if we will take 1 0 we will divide it by 3 we will get 2 remainder if we will take 1 1 we will divide it by 3 we will get 0 remainder so we are getting 0 1 and 2 as the remainder so we will generate three states q0 with zero remainder q1 with one remainder and q2 with two remainder so if we are reading zero we are remaining in q0 so that zero output can be generated if we are reading one like one binary equivalent is one and whenever we are dividing it by three we are getting one as the remainder so on reading of one we are moving to q1 and if our input is 1 0 its decimal equivalent is 2 so on reading of 1 we are moving from q0 to q1 and on reading of 0 we are moving to q2 so that output 2 is generated for 1 1 on reading of 1 we are moving from q0 to q1 and on reading of 1 again we are moving to q0 so that 0 remainder can be generated for 1 0 0 that is 4 if we will divide it by 4 3 we will get 1 as the remainder so on reading of 1 we are moving to q1 then on reading of 0 we are moving to q2 and then on reading of 0 we need to go to a state where remainder is 1 so we will move to q1 on reading of 0 
similarly for 101 it is 5 whenever we will divide by 3 we will get 2 as the remainder so on reading of 1 on q2 we will remain in q2 so that 2 remainder will be generated so how it will process on q0 we will read 1 we will move to q1 on q0 0 remainder is generated on q1 1 remainder is generated on q1 reading of 0 we will move to q2 2 remainder is generated then we will read 1 and we will remain in q2 and 2 remainder is generated this last symbol will indicate the residue mode 3 of the given binary strain now suppose we want to design a milling machine which will calculate residue mode 4 whenever binary equivalent is converted into decimal so we will have 0 1 2 3 as the remainder and we want to design milling machine we have four states let's call it as q0 q1 q2 and q3 here output depend upon state as well as on input so if we have binary number as 0 we will check its decimal equivalent it is also 0 whenever we will divide it by 4 we will get 0 as the remainder so on reading of 0 we will generate output as 0 if we will have input as 1 so 1 decimal equivalent is 1 so whenever we will divide it by 4 we will get 1 as the remainder so on reading of 1 we will generate 1 as the output if we have input 1 0 it is equal to 2 whenever it will be divided by 4 we will get 2 as the remainder from q0 to q1 on reading of 1 we will move and on reading of 0 we need to go to a state where remainder is 2 so q2 and we will generate 2 as the output 1 1 that is 3 whenever divided by 4 we will get 3 as the remainder so for reading of first one we will move from q0 to q1 then reading of second one we will move to q3 state and we will generate output as 3 then 1 double 0 that is 4 whenever it is divided by 4 we will get 0 as the remainder so on reading of first one we will move from q0 to q1 then we will move to q2 and then reading of 0 on q2 we need to go to a state where 0 output can be generated so we can say 0 input and 0 output 101 1, that is 5 if we will divide it by 4 we will get 1 as the remainder so on q2 if we will read 1 we need to go to state q1 reading of 1 1 as the output 110 that is 6 divided by 4 we will get 2 as the remainder so on reading of 1 we are moving from q0 to q1 then on reading of 1 we are moving from q1 to q3 and then reading of 0 we need to go to a state which is indicating 2 as the output so on reading of 0 we will generate 2 as the output 111 that is 7 when divided by 4 we will get 3 as the remainder so on reading of 1 we will move from q0 to q1 then on reading of 1 we will move from q1 to q3 and then on reading of 1 we will remain in q3 suppose we have input string 111 so we will process it like q0 we will read 1 we will move to q1 we will generate 1 as the output then we will read 1 we will move to q3 and we will generate 3 as the output then we will read 1 we will remain in q3 and we will generate 3 as the output so the last symbol will indicate the residue mode 4 whenever a binary string is converted into decimal number now we want to design a mille machine which will output even or odd according as total number of 1 is even or odd so sigma is 0 and 1 and output are e or o depending upon the number of one is even or odd so initially we have the starting state let's suppose it as q0 q1 if we will read one number of one will become odd and we will move to q2 so on reading of one we will generate o as the output if we will read again one we will generate e as the output because number of one will become even 
on q0 number of 1 is e1 so if we will read 0 we will generate e as the output q1 is indicating a state where number of 1 is odd so if we will read 0 we will generate o as the output that is indicating odd number of 1 now we want to design a Millet and Murray machine where sigma is 0 and 1 and if input string is ending with 101 then output is A if it end with 110 output is B otherwise output is C so first we will design its template and we will try to design Millet machine so if our input is 101 we will generate 1 as the output if we have ending with 110 that is 1 then we will read 1 and then we will read 0 and on reading of 110 we will generate b as the output otherwise we are generating c as the output if we will read 0 we will generate c as the output on q1 we had already processed 0 and 1 on q2 and if we will read 0 on q2 input strings are 1 0 0 so it breaks our pattern and we will move to q0 state and we will generate c as the output if we will read 0 on q3 like 1 0 1 0 and we are expecting 1 after it and we will generate c as the output so we will move to state q2 on reading of 0 now if we will read 1 on q1 what will happen like uh, 1 0 1 1 0 so on reading of the second one we are expecting that it may end with 1 1 0 so on reading of 1 we will move to q4 state and we will generate c as the output here we are also generating c as the output now we will look out various possibility on q5 if we will read 0 or 1 what will happen so if we will consider 1101 so after processing 110 we will move to q5 and if we are reading 1 on q5 means we are ending with 101 so on reading of 1 we will move to q3 and we are generating a as the output if we will read 0 on q5 what it means 1 1 0 0 so it breaks our patterns and we need to start searching that our string may end with 1 0 1 or 1 1 0 so we will move to the initial state on reading of 0 now we will consider 1 on q4 like 1 1 1 so we are expecting that if we will read 0 it is ending with 1 1 0 so on reading of 1 we will remain in q4 and we will generate c as the output on the same pattern you can able to design its more machines where we will generate a as the output with q3 b as the output with q5 and for the rest of the state we will generate c as the output thanks for watching this session